viewers welcome to my channel with another video today we are going to discuss the 2017 all level science mcq paper i hope this would be a great session so let's discuss all the 40 mcqs and see how the questions are being asked so i hope this would be really useful for the one who are going to face their exams so whatever the exam it is past papers are the key thing we have to practice so that you will get used to the rhythm of the questioning pattern so let's start with the first mcq so you all know there are 40 mcq so you have to pick one and mark across on your mcq sheet so you have 40 mcqs where you have to finish strictly in one hour so you have to try to practice this paper in one hour because this paper will be given separately not with the part two so you will not have any extra time only one hour you will be given so you have to try to manage your time as well when you are trying to answer the mcq question well let's start with the discussion which of the following plant is a gymnosperm? So you know gymnosperm is a non-flowering seed plant where their seeds are not covered. Okay, seeds are not covered by a fruit. So the two examples we have in the textbook is cycas and pinus. So our answer is pinus. Now you know grass is a monocot plant, paddy also a monocot, coconut is also a monocot. Okay, so their seeds are actually covered by a fruit. Even grass it's not visible. The seeds are covered. So gymnosperm example is pinus. What is the unit of the moment of force? Now here they are not referring to momentum. It's moment of force. First we will write the equation. That is force into the perpendicular distance from the pivot. So for, force you know force is ma. That means mass into acceleration. Okay force is mass into acceleration. So that's ag into ms minus 2 into distance. Distance is what? In meters. So they can ask this in base units or directly from the SI and base units mix they can ask. Now you can see first one won't come joule per second. There is no energy involving in this. this now work done. Energy is equal to force into distance move due to the force. But this is moment of force. Moment of force is actually the force into the distance from the perpendicular distance from the pivot. So this is not an energy type. Second one, they say kg ms minus 2. That is actually only force. No, Here you can see mass into acceleration. So, that won't come. Now, see the third one is Newton meter. Correct? No, force is Newton. Distance is meter. So, that is a correct answer. No. Now, fourth one, they say Newton per square meter. No, here it is not divided. No, Newton per square meter. What is it? Newton per square meter means square meter is area. Newton per area, force over area, that is the pressure. Newton per meter square is actually pressure, force divided by area. So, here our correct answer is Newton meter. So, always you should actually go omit the wrong answer, then the correct answer will be automatically remaining. That is the trick you have to follow in MCQ. The organ, okay, the third one, the organ which mainly contributes to nitrogenous excretion in the human body. It's not this kidney, sorry, it's the kidney, but it's not the skin. Skin is also actually uh, excreting or excretory product, sweat. That is also the nitrogenous excretion, but they are asking which is mainly contributing. So that should be the kidney. Which of the following substances can be mixed with water to make a heterogeneous mixture? Heterogeneous mixtures means the two mixtures you can clearly observe. That means it's not dissolving. Now, copper sulfate and water, it will form a aqueous solution, so that won't come. Ethyl alcohol and water, well soluble in water. Sugar is also soluble in water, you can't see any components. But wheat flour, it is not soluble in water. So, when you put wheat flour for water, what happens? The whiteness will be remaining in the water and you can separately see the wheat flour and water. Because they won't mix. So, heterogeneous mixture, it should be fourth one. So, for the first one, it's pinus. Next, kidney. The next one is wheat flour. Okay, now let's see which of the following organis, organelles releases energy by aerobic respiration. Now, you know cells are also having organelles. They don't have organs. They have organelles. So, nucleus. What does nucleus do? Nucleus controls the life activities of the cell. So, that's not the answer. Mitochondria. Mitochondria, you know, that is the powerhouse of the cell which releases energy by aerobic respiration. Ribosomes. Ribosomes are non-membrane bounded organelles. They actually involve in protein synthesis. So, it won't come. Golgi complex are membrane bounded organelles. They actually involve in the packaging distribution of the secretory substances. 
so you should know the function of all the organelles then only you can answer this question properly and we should know organelles some are membrane bounded some are non membrane bounded so we have to actually have a clear idea then only you can answer this question so the answer is mitochondria next one they are asking which of the following is basic now this is very easy actually metallic oxides are basic okay metallic oxides are basic metallic oxides are basic non metallic oxides are acidic okay non metallic oxides are acidic so here they are asking a uh, basic mean it should be a metallic oxide magnesium oxide it's a metal so it's correct aluminium oxide aluminium is also a metal but aluminium oxide is special it is amphoteric that means it has both the acidic and basic properties so this won't come sulfur is a non metal so it's acidic one silicon is a non metal is acidic one so the answer is magnesium oxide so always remember metallic oxides are basic non metallic oxides are acidic it is there in your grade 10 third unit i guess they have say across a period acidity increases no next one the animal tissue given in the diagram is the animal tissue given in the diagram now we should know animal tissues we have nervous tissue muscle tissue epithelial tissue and connective tissue now see here you can see it is placed on a basement membrane cells are tightly packed and you can see there is central nucleus so definitely this is the epithelial tissue these tissues we can find the features in epithelial tissue not the connective muscle or nervous so these are actually very easy question once you see the picture itself you have to identify if you are very fluent with the lesson Eighth one, which of the following energy transformation take place in a bicycle dynamo? So in bicycle dynamo, what you do is there is a like this. You have two met magnets like this. Okay, then between that a coil is wrapped and it will move when you actually pedal. So here what happens? Magnetic field lines are cut by the movement and electricity is generated. That is how the bulb is lighting up. so you have to move the pedal okay that means moving means it's a mechanical energy being converted to electrical energy mechanical energy so due to the movement magnetic field lines are cut by the coil then current is generated due to that current the bulb will light up so initially you are providing the energy by pedaling the bicycle pedaling the bicycle is a mechanical energy belong into kinetic energy movement so mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy on say third one Next one, the biochemical reactions that take place in an organism are catalyzed by. Now see, catalyzing activity. Catalyzing means they actually increase the rate of biochemical reactions. Catalyzing means actually increasing the rate of biochemical reactions. So, catalyzed biochemical reactions are catalyzed by the enzymes. That's an easy one. Okay, tenth one. In which of the following instances does a couple of forces act? A couple of forces means it's like this. You have a moment due to clockwise direction, and you have a moment in the anti-clockwise direction also. Moment means you know it's the moment uh, force into the perpendicular distance, mainly the rotating forces. When the door is opened by pushing, we'll keep it for a while. When a nail is unscrewed by a screw, yes, that is a perfect example they have given in the textbook. when the rope is pulled in opposite direction by two groups no that won't come when two persons are pushing a box in the same direction which is kept on the floor now they are pushing a box in the same direction so there is no a couple of force acting no they are pushing in the same direction so that won't come when a door is opened by pushing there is a moment but it's not a couple so answer is the second one when an eyelid is unscrewed now everything whatever the example they gave is actually they give from the textbook so always you have to depend on the textbook then definitely you can find all the answers the thing is you should be able to understand the questioning pattern then this won't be a easy thing okay the 11th one the number of electrons and the number of protons in an al3 plus ion now first we'll write the electronic configuration of aluminum that's 13 Two comma eight comma three, so three plus means it's removing three electron. Now these three is removed. Now you have how many electrons? You have only ten electrons. So when a, a atom is converting to iron, only the electrons are exchanged.
proton number or neutron number will not change so electrons are becoming 10 now they are asking respectively you know first you have to find the number of electrons so number of electron is 10 so 3 and 4 won't come now they say the proton number you know there's no change in the proton number now they have say atomic number of aluminium is 13 then proton number so 13 first one is the answer so that's a very easy one this is a standard notation of tritium now you know isotopes are their atoms isotopes means same atoms okay they are having different mass numbers so there are different types of the same atoms simply you can remember like that so hydrogen has three protium deuterium and tritium protium the mass number is one deuterium the mass number is two tritium the mass number is three now when you take atom top you have the mass number sorry top you have the mass number and down you have the atomic number in a particular atom now if i take sodium down you have the atomic number out up you have the mass number now here atomic number would, should remain same now in fourth one hydrogen is three then it's wrong now mass number tritium means it should be three now in this it's one so wrong in this it's two so answer is third one it's very simple you just have to apply the direct theory which of the following adaptation is shown by the seeds of hora or na plant for the dispersal by wind now if a seed should be dispersal by wind it should be lightweight okay and it has like wing like structures and all okay now first one is the answer wing like structures so that it can fly in there now see the second one presence of hairs so that's not actually adaptation for dispersal by wind having air fill shell that is dispersal by water consisting of different patterns that is to disperse by animals so this is possessing wing like structures is the best option first one a certain covalent compound is completely ionized in water which of the following could be this compound covalent compound completely ionized in water covalent compound completely ionized in water okay now here they are asking which one will completely ionize now actually acids and bases when you put to water they will completely ionize or partially ionize so what completely ionize is the stronger ones stronger bases or strong acids will completely ionize in water that means they'll completely release h plus ions to the water if it is acid if it is a base it will release oh minus ions so you have learned in the acid base lesson so completely ionize so it should be a strong base or a strong acid NH4H is a weak base, HCl strong acid, copper sulfate is a salt. Now salt how do you identify is actually the cation or anion shouldn't be hydrogen. Okay now here you can see the cation is Cu plus this is SO42 minus the anion. You don't have H plus or OH minus. So where are the cation or anion is not H plus or OH minus it's a salt. So here it won't come. This is a H2CO3 is actually carbonic acid. It's a weak acid. So it won't come. So completely ionized means you should take a strong acid or base. Okay. Now if they say partially ionized then it should be a weak acid. Then your answer will be 4. But they here they say it's completely ionizing in water now. So HCl is the answer. Next question. The endocrine gland that secrete glucagon and calcitonin. So there you have a table in the uh, systems lesson, grade 11 systems lesson, you have a table where they have given the locations, which glands are actually secreting these hormones. So it's very clearly they have given, you can memorize it. Glucagon is secreted by the pancreas, calisotonin is by the thyroid. So the answer is first one. Adrenal actually it's in, uh, secreted, the adrenaline hormone, pituitary the growth hormones. So fourth one is also correct but they are asking respectively no first you have to say the glucagon one. So first one is the answer. Select the option in the table which give the most suitable extraction method for each of the elements potassium, calcium and lead. Now for this I will just explain a bit. First you should uh, actually write the activity series. Okay, You don't need to write for this question but to understand I am doing it activity series okay the reactivity series or activity series then you have zinc iron tin lead then you have copper mercury gold those okay now here you can see you have potassium calcium and lead okay 
potassium calcium and lead here you have carbon here you have hydrogen okay uh, yes so one below carbon you can extract by the reduction method below hydrogen once you actually have to extract with physical methods now here nothing is there below hydrogen no so physical method won't come here this won't come this won't come then you can open one and three everything is above hydrogen so above hydrogen below carbon we actually extract by the reduction method because comparatively these upper ones they are less reactive than the upper ones so we can actually take them from reduction method so let this correct for reduction method so that's they are in two and four now calcium potassium if you take they are actually highly reactive metals so how you can extract them is from electrolysis now both of them are above carbon both of them you can extract by electrolysis so answer is fourth one so this is how you have to find the answer for this now this activity series there's a very important points in the textbook where most of the student doesn't consider the importance of activity series several times it has been questioned so you should be very fluent with that on a horizontal ground the 17th one on a horizontal ground the point b is located at the east of a and point c is located to the north of b so we'll actually roughly sketch it point b is located to the east of a okay so we'll say a is here east of a yes then point c is located to north of b so here you have c So an ant has moved from A to C. Okay, he has moved from A to C through the straight line paths A, B, and B, C. Okay, through this one he has gone. Okay, A, B is three meter, B, C is four meter. They are asking the displacement. Now you know A to B and B to C only it has gone. So distance is actually seven meters. Displacement means you should find the shortest possible one. No. This is the displacement. So you should find this. You can apply Pythagoras and find answer is five. Okay, this answer is five because three is, three squared is nine, four squared is sixteen, sixteen plus is nine is twenty five. So so if you take the root this side, it's twenty five root five meter. Okay, it's an easy one. Eighteenth one, a situation where an image of a flower pot taken onto a white vertical plane using an item called x is shown in the figure. Now when it is taken, you can see it's completely inverted. So you know it can't be a plane mirror. Plane mirror actually do the lateral inversion, no? Right and left only changes, not like this upside down. Next one, convex mirror. Now convex mirror is always forming only one image wherever you keep. It's a upright diminished image. Concave mirror will form such an image. Okay, so this one come. Concave lenses. Concave lenses also form only one image. Now in the mirrors, convex mirror will form one image. Okay, one upright image. wherever you keep the image between anywhere in the lenses uh, concave lenses will form one image wherever you keep one type of image only will be formed that's upright is not inverted so that won't come so answer should be four because in convex lenses if you keep uh, like like beyond the center of curvature you will get inverted images So yeah, fourth one is the answer. So that is how we have to compare. So you should in this question you should have a knowledge on all the ray diagrams. Then only you can answer this. Okay. Now nineteenth uh, one. Which of the following is true regarding the waves? Regarding the waves, let's see this. Which of the following is true regarding waves? Transverse wave propagate with compressions and rarefactions. That is wrong because longitude only go with compression and rarefaction. The distance between a crest and a trough of a transverse wave is equal to the wave length of that wave. Distance between crest and trough. No, no. The distance between the same state of motion it should be there. There is only wave length. Crest and crest. Crest to crest is one wave length. Trough to trough is another wave length. So crest to trough is not a wave length. Okay. So that's wrong. It is not necessary to have a medium for the propagation of mechanical waves. It's wrong. Mechanical waves actually need a medium to propagate. Energy is transmitted by the maker without the transmission of substances. Yes, that's true. Energy is transmitted. So fourth one is the answer. 
salts okay let's see the next one the salts which precipitate in the first tank and the third tank in the production of salt process now you know you have three tanks the third tank only actually NaCl will precipitate so 2 and 4 we can omit now we have to see the first tank first tank it's calcium carbonate because magnesium sulfate is mixed with NaCl now that is what we actually arrange the sodium chloride in prismatic piles to evaporate this magnesium sulfate so that is also comes with the third tank so first tank and third tank should be calcium carbonate and sodium chloride so today i have actually discussed the first 20 mcqs of this paper i hope this would be really useful for you practice more past papers and go along with the question pattern it won't be a hard thing okay thank you for watching